Layer styles have been a source of frustration for scrapbookers ever since the version of Photoshop Elements 5. With the release of Photoshop Elements 11, however, Adobe has finally addressed the problem by making it drop-dead simple to add and delete layer styles. And that's without having to create tricky XML files and having to figure out where they go inside the program. To access the layer styles, you have to access the Effects panel. And to get that, you have to be in the Expert mode. Then go up into the menu bar and choose Window Effects. That will open the Effects panel, and you'll see here that you have three choices, Filter, Styles, and Effects. We're going to click on the Styles icon here, and that will bring up all the different styles that you have available. New with Photoshop Elements 11, you can add styles on the fly. So go up to the Fly Out menu and choose Load Styles. A dialog box will open. You'll need to navigate to where you have a style located on your computer. I'm going to choose this Digital Scrapper Drop Shadows. All styles will have this little style icon and they'll end in a dot ASL. I'm going to click on that and click Open. It's automatically going to be added to my drop-down menu here. You can see that DS for Digital Scrapper Drop Shadows is now in there. And when I click on it, you can see all the drop shadows that are available in this style. This Digital Scrapper Drop Shadow Layer style has seven styles included with it. The first one is just a simple black stroke in one pixel weight and so you probably wouldn't use that very often. But this next one is a very low drop shadow that would be added to things like photos. And then it just gets larger up from there until the last one is a larger drop shadow that you would use on larger and more rounded elements. So if I were going to add a drop shadow to this photo right here, I would choose the second icon, which is just a low drop shadow. And when I double click on it, it just adds that drop shadow to this photo. Now, I also have some other layer styles that I've downloaded from Digital Scrapper. Let's try this stroke outline here. If I wanted to just add a nice white stroke outline to this photo, I can simply go to this layer style here and click on this 20 pixel white stroke. When I double click on that, it just adds a nice white border around that photo. And that would have taken several steps to do it the other way. Now let's say that you wanted to delete one of the styles that you had downloaded because you decide that it wasn't going to be useful and you wouldn't be needing it. All you need to do is simply go up to the flyout menu and you may want to choose Reset Styles. But when you choose Reset Styles, all that does is take you back to the bevel layer style. And all of the other styles are just still there. If there's one that you actually want to delete, like say you wanted to delete the stroke outlines, you didn't think you would use it, then that one needs to be active here in the drop down menu. And then you would go up to the flyout menu and simply choose delete digital scrapper stroke outlines. And then it'll ask you if you're sure and you click OK. And just know that any deletion cannot be undone. So that's a quick review of layer styles in the all new Photoshop Elements 11. If you would like to download this drop shadow layer style for free, along with step-by-step -step written instructions for this tutorial, go to this URL, digitalscrapper.com slash 117. And then, for additional access to more free layer styles, visit our website at digitalscrapper.com slash plus. When you get there, just click on the goodie box. A login is required, but membership is free and easy to obtain. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper.